national teams, my dad was always the police. Whenever mm -hmm. something was going down, they called my dad because they know my dad was going to straighten it out. Mm -hmm. He was going to hem up whoever needed to be hemmed up and get everything the way it needed to be. And this time it was Terrence. Mm -hmm. And um, Terrence was the kind of guy when that particular situation happened, it was like, um, how do I, how do I, how do I, it's like, 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 it's like, it's like fire and ain't nobody coming close to the fire. That's how he was. After the, after that commotion had erupted, now everybody's like standing around mm -hmm. the fire of Terrence Crawford because they know if anybody approaches, if anybody does or says anything, he might fire up and go off on whoever, whoever approaches him. And so my dad was the one who was, for the sake of words, coined with getting escorting him out of the out of the gym. Mm -hmm. And he basically told my dad, like, I don't need nobody to, to, to help me out. I'm leaving on my own. Mm -hmm. My dad ain't used to being talked to like that. So I think honestly, my dad was chasing after respect. My dad wasn't chasing after making sure nothing happened to Terrence or making sure that uh that nothing happened along the way to anybody else. I think my dad at that point in time was chasing after Terrence because he was chasing the respect that he felt that Terrence should have gave him at that point in time. And my my dad says it was a, a back alley, not a back alley, but definitely a pathway to the rooms. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, I, I, I can only imagine, you know, Terrence just turned around, fired up, tears in his eyes and, you know, fist balled up because that's just who he is. And it wasn't from Terrence. I really don't think it was, I'm a swing on you. It's just he was mad, and that's his his protective mechanism. His fight, you know. Mm. And my dad says, "I looked at this kid. <laughs> and he says, I knew that one of us wasn't gonna be walking out of that that that, <laughs> that, that back alley." Right, right, right. And, and you know, my dad was much younger back then, so I know my dad's mind. He was like, "It ain't gonna be me. I ain't gonna be the one not walking back," you know. And so my dad knew that. You know what? I'm gonna let you be. Let you simmer down, you know, and I think that um, in that point in time, it get funny. And, you know, you you answer a lot when you speak out loud. And the one thing that I'm realizing right now is that my dad may have been chasing respect and he found respect, mm. but it wasn't respect he was chasing. Right. He found respect for Terrence Crawford because of who he was standing, what he was standing in in that moment, you know.